Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to tell you about ranula. Ranula is a term used for mucosils occurring on the floor of the mouth. The name ranula is derived from Latin word rana, which means frog. And as the cyst or the swelling looks like a frog's translucent underbelly, it is called ranula. These cysts usually arise from sublingual salivary gland, but they may also arise from the ducts of submandibular glands. These cysts are usually unilateral, that is, they are seen lateral to the midline. And this feature helps us to distinguish it from dermoid cyst, which will usually occur in the midline. And also the dermoid cyst appears slightly yellowish in color. A ranula can be best described as a mucus extravasation cyst or mucus escape retention cyst. The sublingual gland is particularly involved with ranula because it produces a continuous flow of mucus even in the absence of neural stimulation, unlike other salivary glands. And this might account for its ability to produce a ranula when one of its multiple ducts are ruptured. A ranula may be classified as either superficial or plunging. The superficial variety is more common than the plunging and it may be described as either extravasation or retention type. Most of these lesions are 2 to 3 centimeters in size. So as you can see in the diagram, uh, the superficial cyst would be seen in the floor of the mouth as a bluish dome like swelling. The plunging ranula is also known as cervical ranula and it is a rare clinical variant. It occurs when the spilled mucin dissects through the mylohyoid muscle and produces a swelling within the neck. And most of these plunging ranulas arise in the deep submandibular gland without an intraoral swelling. So the intraoral swelling may not be visible in case of a plunging ranula. The CT and MRI scan of a plunging ranula from the sublingual gland may show a slight extension of lesion into the sublingual space and this may be described as a tail sign or a comet sign. The ranulas are more common in second decade and they are usually seen as blue dome shaped fluctuant swelling in the floor of the mouth. They may also elevate tongue when they are sufficiently larger in size and the deeper lesions may appear normal in color. A ranula is usually larger than mucosils which may be seen in other locations. Histologically, a ranula appears similar to mucosil which are found in other locations. The treatment of ranula involves surgical removal of sublingual gland with or without marsupialization. Marsupialization alone may be successful for small superficial ranulas, but for larger ranulas, removal of the offending sublingual gland and marsupialization both are recommended. For more information on ranula and other dental cysts, do check my book High Yield Visual Book of Dental Cysts. It is available on Medina's app. I hope the video was helpful and if you do find it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.